and welcome to another episode of Baranov TV designed to demystify the world of accounts and tax and to help your business grow. A key focus for us is to make sure that clients hold on to as much of what they earn as possible and one of the ways that we do that is to ensure that you pay as little tax as you need to but also that you take advantage of the many types of tax relief that are available too. One area where we can't help directly though is by making sure that your national insurance record is up to date and that it reflects the payments that you've made over your working life so that you can qualify for the right amount of state pension when you get to that point. The amount of state pension that you're entitled to depends very much on these records held by HMRC and making sure that they're right. We've recently heard some real horror stories that we really don't want to be repeated amongst our client base. So to qualify for state pension, you need to have at least 10 years fully paid up um, at the point you start to draw, but up to 35 years to qualify for the full amount, which at the moment is £168 per week. So what can go wrong? Well, the horror stories that we've heard include an 80 year old who hasn't been able to get any state pension as the revenue have no records of any contributions paid back in the 1950s and who was asked to provide those records as proof that the payments have been made. Twin girls with the same first initial, now at retirement age, one has no national insurance record at all. It turns out hers was deleted many years ago, having been incorrectly identified as a duplicate record because the address and the initials were the same. She's had to reconstruct her entire employment record, age 60 plus. And then earlier this month, a Financial Times article reported that one of their writers has challenged HMRC's claim not to have any records for 1988-89, who was asked to resubmit 30-year-old records. And it was only after she put in an official complaint that the revenue found the missing information. And finally, Chris had a missing year, 2015-16, which was when we sold the last business. My record was absolutely fine, but the revenue said they had no record of his payments. So what can you do to avoid the problems? Well, first off, you need to check your check your state pension online. Go Google state pension and follow the gov.uk link. You'll need the same logins to access it as you use to access your personal self-assessment account, but it's not the same page that you normally go into. You'll then see a forecast for the state pension you'd get now and an amount that you get if you continue to pay in. If you follow the link to view your forecast, your show, it will show you if you have any missing years when it will show that that year is not full. Um, you can view the details and then you can investigate from there. So why can't we do this for you? Because it sounds as if it'd be much more easier. Well, it's sadly, we're not appointed to act as national insurance agents for our clients. And bizarrely, there's no way for us to be appointed. So if you do have problems when you Google um, check your state pension, do get in touch and we can try and check you through and help where we can, but you actually need to be the ones that do it. So what do you do if there are years missing? Well, actually the gov.uk website will talk you through it and they will show you what they're doing. For example, when Chris found that he had a year missing, it said that they were looking into it, although after six months of waiting and watching, it was still showing the same, so he ended up having to call them and actually it's now sorted. Our recommendation is obviously make sure that you've got enough tucked away that you that the state pension actually is just an extra because by the time we all get there it probably won't be a very significant amount but what you do want to be able to do is get it out what you're entitled to whatever that figure may be at the point that you are actually eligible to claim so make this an annual task um, at the, towards the end of every summer because the revenue can take time to process the P60s you can pay extra to make up the missing years, but you can only go back up to six years to do that. And after that, the ability is gone. So, and also it's much easier to find documents or proof payments within a reasonable time scale than going back you know, a number of years. Those poor people looking back to the 50s is just mad. So that's it for this week's episode. Um, do make a note to go online and check the revenues records and I will see you very soon.